Hello, everybody. It's time for my next Facebook Live. I'm just going to wait for people to check in a little bit, and then I'll get started. So let me know when you're here and tell me where you're from. Hi, Tammy. Glad you could make it on this Sunday night. I'm broadcasting from Menasha, Wisconsin, which most of you know, but some of you might not. Um, I had some. I had a great time last week with this Facebook Live. It was fabulous. Hi, Sandy. Thanks for joining us from Little Shoot and Krista. Um, Jody from Texas. I'm jealous because it's probably very warm there, right? It's pretty chilly here. We had kind of a chilly weekend. We got some snow over the weekend. Let me see what I'm going to... Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's what happens when you move your video stand, right? <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Darlene, glad you, could, glad you could come. I've got some great projects for you guys tonight. I had a lot of fun creating them, too. So, um, Just wanted to take care of a few things. Hang on. Let's see. First of all, I want to find out. I have music playing because, I don't know, that just kind of gives me a little bit of, um, relaxes my nerves a little bit. Can you guys hear the music? I hope you can hear the music. It's just kind of very subtle in the background. So, let's see. What can I tell you? I hope you guys had a good week. Um, it was my first week being a full-time Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So I'm still trying to kind of get adjusted to my schedule. You can't hear it. Oh, you can't hear the music. Okay, that's okay, I think. Um, Julie can hear it. Okay, hi, Deb. Welcome. Let me know if it's too loud. Lorraine, I'm glad you could join us. Um... What did I do all week? Well, I was busy working on blog posts and coming up with ideas for my Facebook Live tonight. So I was pretty busy all week. Um, Friday, I ended up going down to Campbellsport, which is about, I don't know, 50 miles south of where I live. My stepdaughter Stephanie bought um, a new home. And so Friday, my husband and I spent helping her move. And um, I always enjoy spending time with Stephanie, so even though moving isn't that great, and especially since she lives in an upstairs um, apartment is where she was before, holy cow, loading boxes up and downstairs, not so fun, <laughs> but we still had a good time, and I was glad I was able to help her with that, and then... Um, I, we headed home and I loaded up all my stuff and headed over to Marshfield. I had a home party with Shelby, um, in Marshfield and that was a lot of fun Saturday morning, even though it started snowing and I'm glad I have a four wheel drive. We live in Wisconsin, so if you don't have a vehicle that can go in the snow, I don't know what you're doing, but, um, glad that I could do that and get there safely. Had a great time at the party. Carol, Carol, we missed you at the party Saturday. Wish you could have been there. We had a great time. What else did we do? My sister came over with all of her kids and so my mom's house was really full and that makes my mom really happy. So that was cool. And then I headed home uh, probably about 1030 this morning so I could um, get in a little nap. Should I tell people that? Yeah, I was a little tired. So I took a little nap. And that was fun. Um, exactly what I needed for, you know, a little bit of refreshing for the day. What else can I tell you here? Oh, um, when we get started, I have some cards to share with you. I got some cards in the mail this week. Oh, who doesn't love getting cards, right? Love getting cards. So I'll share those with you. Um... I had some people that were emailing me asking me how my stepdaughter Anna is doing. And um, I think she's doing a little better. And one of the things that I can say about her is she's stable. She's still dealing with all the issues that she's had since her surgery December 8th. So if you um, go in for a routine hysterectomy, just know that you may come out with nothing being quite routine. Her life has been a real nightmare. So prayers are still being accepted for her because she's going to be having another surgery in March to repair her bladder. Yeah, it's a mess. 
everything's a mess, but um, she's, she's doing okay, so that's great. Hi, Polly. I'm glad you could join us. Polly contacted me today looking for a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so I gave her a call and got to chat with her about her adorable dogs um, and Stampin' Up! stuff, of course, but you know, you can't just chat about Stampin' Up! You gotta find out other stuff, too, so that was really fun. Thanks, Julie. Really appreciate it. Hi, Kathy. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, this week, my stepson, um, Stephen, lives down by Madison. And his stepson, who is, I believe, 10 or 11, um, was sledding. And he hit his head on a rail and kind of, like, sliced his whole head open. Like, it peeled his skin up, like, filleted his scalp. Thank God that's all that happened because some stitches cleared that up. But holy cow, we'll take some prayers for him too because he's got some healing to, to do. And I was just so, we were so grateful that nothing worse happened there. Hi, Linda. Hi, Jill. Claudia, glad you can, glad you can tune in. Um, we have some exciting stuff. Celebration just released a second set of products that are available between now and March 31st. So I am going to feature one of those in the cards that I'm making, in one of the cards that I'm making tonight. And I think you're going to find it is adorable. You're going to love it. And then I have our prize winners to announce too. And what else? I think I covered everything. Remember, if you guys um, leave comments, you're entered into a drawing to win prizes. So I've got three ways you can win. Um, by leaving a comment, by sharing my video once it's posted. Um, I don't know if you can share it right now. I'm thinking maybe you can, but I'm not real sure. And um, when you place an order. So I've got three ways, sharing, commenting, and ordering. And that will get you into the drawing to win a prize. And I'm going to announce those in just a second. And I think I am ready. What time is it? I can't even see that far, but I think I'm ready to get started. So if you have motion sickness, you may want to close your eyes for just a few minutes. I'm going to flip my phone around so we can get going on our projects for tonight. Oh, and I had another person who asked me, what's up with the crown? What, what are you wearing the tiara for? Well, let me tell you a little story behind the tiara. Um, my friend Barb, my friends Barb and Dina, when we get together, we get together frequently throughout the year. Um, because we kind of team up and share our businesses, our Stampin' Up! businesses. And we've become great friends through Stampin' Up! That's one of the things that I really love about being a demonstrator is all the friendships that I've made. It is top on my list. So um, when we get together, we, Dina and I flew out to Wyoming to visit Barb last year. And we stopped in a store on our way to Barb's house and we found these cute little chintzy tiaras. Not these, mind you, but some cute little chintzy ones. So we bought one for each, each of the three of us and we wore them all week. And people, even when we go out in public, we wear our tiaras and people will say, what is the tiara for? It's because, well, we're better when we're together. So we're celebrating that by wearing a tiara on our head. And it makes me feel kind of fancy. <laughs> So if you're down in the dumps, you need to go get yourself a tiara and you will feel fancy too. And I think that it helps with my creativity and it's probably all just in my head, but I love the tiara. And uh, we did replace the tiaras when we met in Salt Lake City. Um, when was that? Last fall and got these. And these are not chintzy little tiaras. They are very fancy little tiaras. Hi, Shelby and Julie. Welcome. So that's the story behind the tiaras, and that's why I wear the tiara, because it makes me feel fancy, and I think I stamp better with it, and I think everybody should wear a tiara when they're stamping. Okay, motion sickness, you want to close your eyes. I'm going to flip my phone around. I'm going to ask you guys, is the music too loud? Should I turn it down? Can you even hear it? Let me know. And um, hi, Becky, welcome. We're going to flip right now. Thanks, Jill. I knew you'd I knew you'd want to know what is up with the tiara, right? Okay. It's kind of stuck there. Here we go. I'm gonna have to do some adjusting. Hi Arliss, welcome. Hang tight, I'm gonna do some adjusting on my tripod here and my video stand. Okay, here we go. 
Now, pray for me that I don't touch a button and mess this all up. Because <laughs> that I could totally see happening. Here we go. Get the remote control for the TV out of here. I won't be needing that, right? <laughs> Becky, I can't hear it, says the deaf girl. Well, can anybody else hear it? Becky just got a cochlear implant last year, and she was almost completely deaf, and now she can hear. So it's like, holy cow, that is a really big deal. I am super stoked for her. Uh-oh. Somebody says it seems like we're stuck. Let's see what's going on here. Stick with me. Here we go. I see it live. All right, so I'm going to put my hand out here. I think we're still going. Okay, yep, I think we're still going. Okay, I want to talk to you a little bit about this new celebration, second release of products. Oh my gosh. I just got a very tiny time frame to play with this. And um, let's take a look in here. We've got this Eclectic Expressions stamp set. This is really, really fun. And these kind of stamps are really trendy right now to make super cute little cards, okay? And that's what we've got right here. Some really fast and easy cards. This one looks like it uses brusho. I love brusho. Oh my gosh, if you haven't checked out my videos using brusho, you need to go find me on YouTube so you can check those out. So this is the Eclectic Expression stamp set. You can get this free with a $50 order between now and March 31st. Then we have the Springtime Foil Specialty Designer Series paper, and I have my pack right here. I've already cut into it. This is delicious. Let me see if I can get it out of here without making it stick to everything. So we've got this beautiful silver stripe. This is copper polka dots. And you get three sheets of each of these. Look at these. Oh my gosh, these leaves are gorgeous. We've got silver and gold combined. And there's more stripes. And here... This is copper and gold combined in these flowers, and they are really beautiful. Now, one of the cool things you can do with this um, embossed paper is you can color it any color you want it to be. You can sponge color on it, you can dauber color on it, you can paint with an aqua painter. I've been seeing cards made where they painted these flowers and then cut them out. They painted the leaves and cut them out and mounted them on cards. This stuff is gorgeous, and again, with a $50 order, you can get this entire pack of Designer Series paper for free called Springtime Foils. So I'm gonna set that aside. And then I'm gonna bring in the big kahuna. The Blossoming Basket Bundle. Now you know we have level ones. These are $50 orders, gets you these products for free, but we also have the orange um, Starburst image. This is a $100 order or a level two product. So you get this dynamic textured impressions embossing folder. These are the super thick ones that leave a 3D impression on your cardstock. So love, love, love our dynamic textured impression folders. And you get this stamp set, which is gorgeous. And you can see by the cards that they've made here, Oh my gosh, how pretty are those? They are really, really pretty. So the first thing I am going to demonstrate for you, oh, wait, we're not gonna demonstrate anything yet. First, we're gonna take care of prizes because I promised you, right? Okay, so there were prizes that I was going to give out for commenting. So for all of you that left comments, holy cow, I've got a bucket full of names here. I've got Eris Strine, and Eris is from the villages in Florida. You will have a prize coming in the mail this week, so you watch for that for leaving comments under my live video. 
And then because I had so many people share my video, which is huge, you guys, thank you so much. I chose two names that I'll be sending gifts for um, sharing my video. And we've got Linda Darimple, and Linda is from Nina, Wisconsin. And then I also chose Sheila Edwards, and Sheila is from, I know it's someplace in New York. Let me find it. Elmira, New York. So thank you guys both for sharing my videos. And then for placing an order, we've got Claudia Swakowski from Kimberly, Wisconsin. And Claudia, I know you're watching. I'm not sure if... Um, if Linda is on tonight, Eris and Sheila. So if you guys could do me a favor, um, if you could private message me when the video is over with your address, that will make it a lot easier for me to mail out your prizes. I would sure appreciate that. And let me keep these so I don't forget what I'm doing here. And then I wanted to share some cards that I got with you. I got this Valentine card in the mail, and it's funny because this came from my mother. I don't know if she's watching either. Mom, are you watching? I don't know. Um, but anyways, it's a card that I made <laughs> because I give her boxes of cards as gifts, and she loves them. So great Valentine card from my mom. Thanks, Mom. Love you, too. And then I received another Valentine card from my real good friend, Denise. Denise Krieger from Appleton. Denise, thank you so much for this Valentine. This is absolutely beautiful. This uses some wood grain um, designer series paper, and this is one of our uh, dies from last year at Valentine's Day that makes these cute heart cutouts. So thank you, Denise. I love your card. And then I received a card from... Bernie Seidel from Millsville, Wisconsin. And Bernie sent me this awesome card saying congratulations for um, my big news, which is becoming a full-time Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So, Bernie, thank you. I got to see Bernie Saturday in Marshfield at Shelby's home party, and that was wonderful, too. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate cards. And doesn't a card in the mail really make your day? I think it does. All right, so I am going to bring in the fruit basket stamp set. And I have to tell you a little bit about this. This comes as a little bundle. I'm pretty sure it bundles. You guys, does it bundle? Let me let me check this out quick. I should have looked this up. Look at it, my my little mini catalog is getting so ratty because I go through it 400 times. So um, it does not. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. <laughs> it bundles. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It really does. I'm not kidding this time. It bundles. So you can get all four of these adorable little fruit punches. Let me see if I can hold them up so you can see them better. And the stamp set together for $35. And it's called the Tutti Fruity Bundle. And let me um, shut something down here. I've got too much stuff going on. Um, let's see. Yeah, order the paper too. Don't forget the paper. Let me show you the paper. Thank you, Becky. That was a good tip. Page 29 in the Occasions Mini Catalog. This is the Tutti Fruity Paper. And it is super, super cute. It's bright. It's colorful. Um, the punch... You can bring the punch in and you can punch out these pineapples. You can punch out the pears and the strawberries. We've got some apple slices here. And if it does, if it has fruit on one side, then it just has a fun design on the other. Look at these kiwis. Now, who doesn't think those are adorable? Watermelon, black stripes. Here's our strawberries. So super, super fun designer series paper. And what I decided to do with this, you might have seen this going around on the internet this week because it has been a pretty hot little item. I am going to take my basket weave embossing folder that I got with my $100 order, free with that other stamp set, remember, and I'm going to emboss a piece of crumb cake cardstock. Now, because 
this particular embossing folder is one of our big, thick, dynamic folders. You use it a little differently than you use regular folders. So we're gonna open up one tab on our Big Shot. We are going to place our paper in the embossing folder and you're going to put that right down on the platform and only use one cutting plate to emboss this. We're gonna roll that through. It's a little snug, don't worry about that. Mary Lynn Weller! Isn't Denise's card pretty? Thank you so much. Look at this basket weave. Is that not gorgeous? It is gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to set this aside now. Hopefully not <laughs> drop my plates like I did last time. I was just gonna say that and then I slammed into my tabletop here. Let's make sure we're still straight. Okay, all right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, stitched shapes circles and I've got the medium circle and the larger circle and I should have left my big shot here because I need it again I wasn't thinking I would have avoided that whole disaster right slamming it into my light that I have here let me get this situated and I am going to cut out some circles with the stitched shapes. And the stitched shapes, if you guys don't have the stitched shapes, I'm telling you, invest in them. It's $30 for the whole thing. And you get, I think, like 16 um, framelits in there. Circles, ovals, and squares. Because they make the cutest little stitch marks around the outside of the image. And does, does this remind you of anything yet? I'm hoping it does because this is gonna be really fun. It's stinking adorable. Okay, now let me see if I can do this without slamming it into anything. <laughs> it's live TV, that's gonna happen. Um, yes, I just dropped my plates. Okay, here comes my card. So I decided when I was looking at this, I haven't made this card yet, so you're really gonna have to hang with me here because this could be a complete disaster, but I don't think it's gonna be. I was thinking I'd use crumb cake for my card base, and then I thought, oh, you know what would be super, super cute? If we use the Tutti Fruity Cards and Envelope Pack. This is a free item available during celebration. You can get all these adorable envelopes and the insides have designs on them too. All these adorable envelopes and matching cards. So we've got all these, they have little tiny designs on them and the insides are white. This is a free selection with your $50 order. I decided I was gonna use the lemon lime card base instead of crumb cake. This is a much better idea. Okay, so we're gonna fold that in half and burnish your edge good. It's already cute, like what can I say? Then I'm gonna come in with my glue and I'm going to, I took a piece of the Tutti Fruity Designer Series paper and I might need to get out a new glue bottle. This one's feeling pretty empty. I have a piece of real red Designer Series paper and hang tight and I'll give you measurements here in just a second. Oops, I've got that a little too close to that edge. There we go. And I think I just got glue on my fingers. We'll see. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I know what the measurements are. <laughs> Sorry, this is four by five and a quarter and then the green piece is just an eighth of an inch smaller. So that would be Three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Did you see how fast I did that math in my head? That was miraculous because math is hard. One of my demonstrators, Linda Weiss, used to say that all the time. Math is hard. <laughs> I just couldn't resist. It is hard. Okay, isn't that cute so far? So far we're pretty cute. Then I took this apple paper and I wanted to make a banner out of it. So I'm going to pop it into my triple banner punch. You wanna make sure that's all the way in back here and it's in the tracks. 
and punch that. That will give you a perfect banner every single time. And I think I'm going to low or add this right here. And then I've got this little layer. And I think I like this being this long. I was thinking I might need to trim it off, but I think I like it being this long. So we're gonna be just fine here. Then I'm going to take some chocolate chip ink. And I had a sponge someplace. Oh, here it is. Just fell on the floor. And we are going to ink the edge of our, have you figured out what this is yet? Perhaps pumpkin pie? Does that ring a bell? Nope. Apple pie? I think it's apple pie. That's why I chose the apple paper. And I'm just going to give it a little tan color here so that that highlights the um, pie design. Then we're going to stamp. And I'm going to use real red ink. And the image that I've got here is from the fruit basket, and it says, you are the sweetest. So I'm just going to stamp that right on my little white layer here. And this white layer is three by three. Let's see if I can get this straight and right side up would be helpful. What do you guys think? There we go. Perfect. And... Maybe, oh, did you see? Did you see what I just did? Yes, I just did that. I have ink on my fingers, hang tight. I'm gonna grab some baby wipes. And thank goodness we didn't put our card together yet, right? Just wipe this off. And we're going to start over on that piece. What did I do? Did you guys, oh, here's my stamp. You are the sweetest without a smudge of red ink would be very helpful. And then I think I might like to load this on dimensionals. And grab those. I just love this apple pie look. I think Erica Serwin is the first one that I saw that did this. There could have been others too, I am i don't know. But it was adorable. And then here's the other thing that I liked. Um, I wanted to get one of these big red apples. So I'm just gonna take this designer series paper and I am going to cut out a little apple. And I know Lisa is probably like saying bad things about me under her breath right now. Not about me, but about this cutting because she hates to fussy cut, don't you Lisa? <laughs> yep, I know. But this is a super easy little image to cut out and it's gonna be worth it. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to put these on with a little bit of liquid glue. And then I have another one over here that I already cut out so you wouldn't have to painstakingly watch me cut out little apples. Oh my gosh, isn't that adorable? Can you guys see okay? Thank you for the love. Oh my gosh, I appreciate it. Okay, and um, Becky said she put the banner scrap on the inside. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put this on my layer. Try to center it good. There we go. And then I think we need more dimensionals because it's my card and I can put as many dimensionals on it as I would like. One of my friends laughed at me because she was watching one of my videos and then she sent me a message saying, it's yours, you can do whatever you want. Yes, you can. And I can. And when you make your card at home, you can choose to use dimensionals or not. But I'm telling you, if you use the dimensionals, it's much more spectacular what do you guys think? Do I need to add anything to this? Do I need to add a little bit of ribbon? I'm not sure. Let me see what I have over here. Um, I've got lemon lime. Maybe I could add a little piece of this red ribbon. And I'm going to bring in, here we go. I've got it, hang tight. I'm gonna bring in my bow tire. 
And this is good that I'm doing this because you guys have asked me for a long time about this bow tire. And um, my friend Denise makes these. Well, actually, her husband makes them. But Denise has a bunch of these. I think she said she has 20 of them made up. And these little bow jigs are fabulous. So if you are interested in getting your hands on one of these, um, she's going to sell them for $10, which includes shipping. So just remember that shipping is getting so expensive now. Um, $10. If you would like one of these, pop me an email. My email address is kelly at a stamp above.com. And I will hook you up with Denise and she will hook you up with a bow jig. Send it to you right in the mail. You will love these. I've been using this for a very, very long time and they are fabulous. Okay, I think I just need to add a little something to this card and this little red bow is gonna do it. And what is this ribbon? I don't even know if it's, it was over in my stuff. It's solid red ribbon, eighth inch ribbon. I actually think it was in the holiday mini catalog, but I think it's still available if you need to get some. We had a few items that carried over. I think this is one of them. I could be wrong, but we have other red ribbon too. Oops, let's see if I can get my mini glue dot off of there. Okay, you guys, what do you think? Adorable. Okay, let's finish this card off because I want to do something with the inside. And I've got a couple little strips of designer series paper here. This is half inch by four. And then I think we should stamp. Um, nope, I think I'm not going to stamp anything. I'm just going to add the paper. I want to leave this, so if I want to use it as a birthday card, I can. And I'll stamp happy birthday in it at that time because that does come with the stamp set. Or I can put, use it as a thank you because it says on the front, you're so sweet, right? I could have done that too. So this will just spruce up that inside layer because you know I like my inside layers to be decorated. And trim that off. Boom. Super duper cute. I will be showing these cards on my blog throughout the week so you can have an easy access to all the dimensions and so on and so forth. But how cute is that? Little apple pie. And now, what am I going to do with this big apple pie? I don't know, but I'm going to make something else. So we're going to have a big apple pie card at some point. And then we've got this little apple pie card. Okay. Let me get some of the stuff put away. Don't worry, I don't have to go far for it. It just goes right here on my desk. That's one of the things I really like about having your own studio or office or whatever you want to call it, is um, having everything right at your fingertips. That is key to using the stuff that you're buying, right? Look at this. We've got this cute little envelope to go with our little apple pie card. Love, love, love. Okay, make sure I don't lose that. Now I want to show you guys some cards with the waterfront set. Here we go. This stamp set, I can honestly say, is super, super fun. I sat down with it. I spent several hours, um, when was it? Last Saturday, I think, using this stamp set. And I really had a blast with it. So I had some dismal failures, which, you know, that'll happen when you're making stuff, right? Sometimes things don't work out the way you think they're going to. But I also had a lot of fun. So let me show you. This was one of the first little things that I did. is I took, let's see, this is going to be, I have to remember which colors of cardstock. Tranquil Tide is what I used for this one. So, I took Tranquil Tide and I took one of our aqua painters 
and oh I've got all my stamps right here there's a lot of stamps in this set look at all these stamps I have here I'm just gonna kind of put them out here so they're ready to roll but I took the trees the trees is like a favorite in here right I took the tree stamp and inked that up and I stamped it kind of right over here on a layer and then I thought ooh I wonder what would happen if I whoops, added some water. Hang on, this is kind of wet. If I added a little water to it. So I did this and decided that it was kind of a disaster. So that didn't go so well. Then I thought, what would happen if I used some brush -o? And let me see if I can find my brush -o, because I just took it, there it is, I just took it up north and used it at my home party on Saturday. Um, I don't think I used brush -o on this. Hmm. Well, we're going to try some brush -o anyways. I'm going to add a little bit of this green. This is the moss green, and we're going to get some bigger paper over here so I don't make a big mess all over my desk. And, oops, the lid was already off. So this will we're gonna set this aside and let it dry. So we'll come back to that part. Then I'm gonna grab another piece of watercolor paper here we go then I decided what I was going to do is use some of the ink from my lid and just kind of put it right here Gosh, it's so long since I made these cards, I can hardly even remember what I did. Okay, and then we're just going to let that dry also. You clean off your aqua painters, you just do this until you don't have any color in them anymore. And I'm going to dab at this just a tiny bit here so that it'll dry faster. Okay. Then this is that beautiful springtime foil celebration paper that just came out. And I took a sponge and I added color to it because I wanted you to see this. This is just so, so pretty. You can make this paper any color you want it to be. Because the background is white and that foil resists the ink, it makes for a really fun paper. You can make it any color to match anything that you happen to be making. So I did this. Then I, let's see, let's get this to dry. This is gonna be much paler than the finished card that I'm gonna show you, but I wanted to show you how this came about. I'm going to take my trees and stamp them right here. And I thought this is really pretty. Now, because this is still wet, they're bleeding just a little bit. Can you see, can you see what's, let me see if that's coming up there. Yeah, there we go. Julie says she loves this set. This set is a lot of fun. Okay, so are you ready to see what I did with this layer and this layer? Here's my card. What do you guys think? I just stamped those little trees. I stamped the Just Breathe, and this is coming to us from, what is that stamp set called? Can somebody help me out with that? You know what this set is called. It's a bundle. The Just Breathe and the Chair. Um, it's not color theory. I don't remember, but somebody will tell us. So this is an Adriandak chair. I used our gray shimmer paper, or I mean ribbon, over top of our black shimmer ribbon. So that's what those two layers are right there. This beautiful paper went right down here using the Emerald Envy color or Twinkle Tide. Emerald Envy. Yeah, yeah. And um, I did this on watercolor paper. And then I also added a couple strips to the inside. 
So isn't this a cool card? I like that Just Breathe because you can send that to anybody. Like my stepdaughter just moved into a new home. You know, her life has probably been chaos for a couple weeks now leading up to this. And um, a Just Breathe card would be perfect for her. She needs to just breathe now. She's moved in. Everything's good. So um, that's a really simple card that I made with the stamp set. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, now we've got, let me get some of this put away so that you don't have so much chaos going on here. <laughs> I am the queen of chaos, I have to tell you. All right, next, after I made that card, I came in with a super simple card. And I need to make sure I'm using the small piece. This white piece is three and three quarters by five. And I just wanted to test out, how does the stamp set work? What's, what am I gonna be doing with it? So I've got soft suede ink here, and I'm going to stamp this mountain image right here. Okay. And then we've got some other images. These are pretty, all of these little lines, they can be water, they can be snow, they can be grass. Uh, the sky's the limit with this, so I'm just going to take this one and I'm going to add some grass, like a grassy meadow below my mountain. And you can just alternate these back and forth. That's kind of what I did here. I'm turning it around and it'll fit right back in here. I should have done it the other way. Now I'm just going to stamp one here. Now I'm going to turn it around and come back in here. And because you don't want it to, I, I guess mine's getting pretty uniform. I didn't want it to be that uniform, but for purposes of this, we're going to be fine. Okay, then I wanted some water. So I came in with this image and I'm using um, Marina Mist ink and I'm going to stamp some water here. And then I'm coming in with my trees. Hang on, I have to clean off my trees a little bit. This is one of our Stampin' Scrubs and our Stampin' Mist. I use this, I use baby wipes, I use all kinds of things to clean my stamps, but I do like the um, cleaner in the, in the um, pad to clean stuff off. Then I'm gonna come in with some old olive trees here and stamp those. Okay, how are we, it's looking like a mountain range, right? And let me get that cleaned off. I'm gonna have to clean these a lot because we're gonna be doing all different kinds of colors tonight. Then I need the sun or the moon. This can be a sun or a moon. And I'm gonna stamp that in yellow and I'm gonna put that right here, okay? And again, we're cleaning. Next, I need some sky. So I decided, make sure this is clean, to get a little sky, I'm going to use my Marina Mist. I'm gonna stamp off once, and then I'm gonna come in here and make some clouds. So isn't that cool? This is the, like, who, who thought that this would be good for clouds? But it is good for clouds. And I'm just going to probably come in there with one more. So now we've got some clouds. Let me get this cleaned off. Then I also decided that I wanted some more blue in the background. So I'm going to leave my stamp case open just a tad and push down on that middle to get some ink right here. And we're going to bring back in this aqua painter. I always like to have a tissue nearby just in case my aqua painter gets a little too wet. I'm going to subdue that a little bit and I'm gonna whoops I need a little bit less I don't want it to be so blue you want to stay away from your other colors because they will bleed and I'm just gonna come in here and kind of tint my sky with a little bit more blue aqua painters honestly are my favorite medium for coloring with I'm getting really attached to those stamp and blend alcohol markers too Prior to those, it was Aqua Painter Baby all the way. 
Okay, so we've got that. And then I wanted to take my words, and where's my black ink pad? Let me grab a black pad here. And my words are, every little kindness makes the world brighter. And I just chose to stamp that right over here. And then we're gonna layer this up. So this is my first go at this particular stamp set. And I did a lot of, you know, trial and error. I'll show you those, don't worry, because I know people wanna see real life and I will certainly show you real life. <laughs> I live it every day. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so this black layer is just an eighth of an inch bigger than the white layer. So it is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And I'm just going to glue this right on the front. Just like that. And then on the inside of my card, I am going to Let's see, do I have that? Just a note in here. Hang tight, I gotta find another stamp set. I think I used the Better Together set. And I might have taken that one and put it away already. Here it is, right here. Yep, I put it back in here, just a note. Because I didn't really know what I was gonna do with this particular card. Just a note. And I need a block. How about we'll use this block? Because we're done with that Tutti Fruity set, right? Here we go. And I'm gonna go with the soft suede for my words. I wanna make sure that's inking up good, yep. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I even got it straight. Woohoo, winning! Winning! And then I wanted the trees. Here's the trees right here. Again with the old olive. That looks, isn't that just, it's just cool. I love those trees, they're beautiful. We're gonna add this in here and then I'll show you a card that I made with an old olive base instead of the Marina Mist. What do you guys think? Yeah. I like this one. I like this one too. Which one do you like? Do you like the Old Olive or the Marina Mist? I think they're both cool. Okay, so that was really simple, right? I mean, like, anybody could do that. Easy peasy. Now I'm going to come in and show you a couple more things that I did. <laughs> so this was one of them. I took washi tape and I taped it around the outside edge of this layer and then I stamped it. I stamped my mountains in, um, I think, basic gray. And I stamped the Emerald Envy trees and then I used a little bit of watercoloring and that got a little too abstract for me. While I love the idea of having this white... Um, background or uh, margin around my watercolor paper and I did use watercolor paper. I didn't like how much these bled so I really didn't know if I was going to make anything with this or not. So there's there's another one. Then I did this and I almost wish I would have put some water in here. I'm going to show you a little bit about how I ended up with this um, this design which looks, looks a little bit different than just stamping, right? Let me see if I can grab that one. Yes. Okay. So here comes another piece. I used, again, the soft suede with the mountains here. And I'm going to stamp my mountain. And I'm going to put it pretty close to the top. And then I'm going to stamp this again. maybe again over here 
something I might do one more time in the middle here. Okay, now I'm going to grab my aqua painter and I'm going to come in and color a little bit. And you see what's happening when you color these mountains? They like turn a different color. It looks a little different, right? And I'll move this up a little closer. I'm gonna fill in that blank white spot, fill in this blank white spot. I kinda of wanted this to be straight across there. But see what that does when you add a little bit of water? Now I am using watercolor paper but it really changes the look and you can kind of add your own mountain lines. Not mountain lions. <laughs> that just popped in my head. Random things happen to me sometimes. Squirrel. There we go. Here's our mountains. Then we're going to come in with our water. I absolutely love this stamp. And I'm using the Marina Mist again. And I'm going to come right in here and stamp this. And then I'm going to come in with that aqua painter again. Let me get some more water coming out of here. This works better if you do it before your ink dries. And I'm just going to come in here. Look at that. It, just, it almost looks like real water, right? Super, super cool. Then I'm going to come in with the Tranquil, or I'm sorry, this is Tranquil Tide or Emerald Envy. I don't want to give you bad information. Okay, we're done with the Emerald Envy. We're coming in with Tranquil Tide now, and I'm going to make some grass. Make sure this is clean. And we're going to come in here, and we're going to start adding some grass edges. Maybe just like this. Coming in here like this. And I'm going to add some water to this in just a second. Let's turn this over. We'll go the other way. We don't want this to look all uniformy. Is that a word? I think it's a word. I can use it. Use whatever words I want, right? Now we're coming in with our aqua painter. And we're going to come in here and kind of smooth this out a little bit. And you see how those just kind of go right up in there where you need them? And I'm going to leave some of them darker. I don't want this to be all blended. I want it to look very kind of random like. You don't even need to fill all of it in. And this is where the really cool part comes in because I thought this was pretty fabulous. I am going to use Tranquil Tide and we're going to do trees. And I'm going to put some trees right here in the front. What do you guys think? It's pretty neat looking, right? Let's add some more trees. And some more trees. And pretty soon you're building an entire forest here and you just keep adding more trees on top of trees on top of trees and I'm just trying to kind of fill in all those white areas and then here's another cool thing that you can do with this how about you want some trees on the back of your mountains Let's just ink up the very tops of these. Then I'm going to take a little piece of paper. We're going to find our mountain. Here's our mountain. And I'm just going to trim this a little bit. So what I'm doing here is I'm making a mask. And you could do this on a post-it note. I've just got regular copier paper. And I'm just cutting this out. Now, once you make one of these, you don't have to make another one. So that's great, right? For Lisa, who doesn't like to fussy cut. <laughs> Lisa, you know I'm just teasing, right? Okay, and now I'm going to ink this up again just on the edge. And I'm going to come in here. 
with some little tiny trees. Look at that. Oh, should I put some more back there? Let's put some more. Oh my gosh, you just can't hardly stop yourself, can you? I'm going to tear a little bit of this off so I can cover up this mountain right there. I love masking stuff because you can do some really cool stuff with masking. Let's see. There we go. Let's do another one. That's perfect. Look at that. <gasps> Isn't that cool? What do you guys think? thought that was a really neat idea. Okay, then what did I do with this? With this particular layer? Are you ready? Ta-da! I didn't put any trees in the background. Oh, and I forgot my sky, so let me do that really quick. With my sky, again, if you wanted to, you can add some stamps. Um, but I'm just going to use my aqua painter and make it lots of water in there. I want it, this to be very, very muted. And I'm just going to kind of paint some color. Don't get close to your mountains or your trees on this watercolor paper. It will not go well. And see how sloppy I am about that? You can just splash some color in there. I'm going to put some down in here. But if you touch those trees or those mountains on watercolor paper, it's going to bleed all over. So there we go. And then I used, again, the Stitched Shapes Framelits, and I stamped one of the greetings, Friends Make the Good Times Better. And I used our um, Layering Circles scallop behind it. Some, is this Tranquil Tide Ribbon behind that? The um, Seam Binding, that's what crinkled Seam Binding. And then I used that Basket Weave Embossing Folder that I showed you that we made the apple pie out of. Cool, huh? What do you guys think? Love this. Great man cards. Great man cards. And on the inside, we've got the stylized birthday and those trees again. This base is Tranquil Tide. Um, then we've got black. That is four by five and a quarter. And then let me measure. The watercolor is going to be three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So it's square there. Pretty cool, right? You can be an artist with this stamp set, and that's what I really, really am having a lot of fun with. Okay, next. So we've got lots of man cards going on here. How about something super fun? Let me get all this out here. So then I got to thinking about how cute this would look using some of our Wood Textures Designer Series paper. Let me get some of these stamps cleaned off here. I made kind of a mess. There we go. And I think we'll do this one and this one. There we go. Okay, so I've got a crumb cake base here. Bone folder out. And then I used Calypso Coral. Oh, I've got ink on my fingers again. Can you see that? Let me wipe that off before we have some. Oh, look at how inky I am. Right, somebody said last week, if you're inky, you're having fun, and I am. All right. Okay, here we go. Let me find, I need the little retirement stamp because I thought this looked like a great card to give somebody for their retirement. And I'm using the itty bitty, what is this called? Teeny tiny wishes, not itty bitty, teeny tiny wishes. This stamp set has been around forever. We've got Halloween and Father's Day and anniversary. Happy retirement right here. It's got all of these words in it. This is a must have. And then I'm going to use, I think this is called the classic label punch. So I'm going to first stamp my greeting. Happy retirement. Then we're going to punch it out with this classic label. And this is perfect for these little words. 
I mounted that on mini dimensionals. And these are the perfect size for these tiny little things. Do you guys have any mini dimensionals? I love these and I'm using them all the time. I think you get something like 700 in a pack because they're mini. They're little tiny baby ones. Oh, here's some right here. They're so cute. And then we're going to take some of this wood texture paper. And I think I got out my sample pack of that paper. Let me see. Oh, here it is. This is on page 187 in the big catalog, and this is all wood textures. Like, if you haven't seen this, you are missing out. This is gorgeous paper. I've seen baby cards made out of this, pink baby cards, blue baby cards. We're going to be using this piece right here. It's like a whitewash, barn, barn wood. Kind of old, distressed looking, right? This stuff is the bomb. Okay, so what I did is I took this and I stamped right on it. Remember last week when I stamped right on the um, Painted by Love designer series paper? Well, you can do that with any of our designer series paper. So I'm going to take my mountain here in soft suede ink and I'm going to stamp it right on my designer series paper. And then we've got this little image, which is super cute. And this goes with our palm trees. And then we're going to come in with the Emerald Envy. I liked that color for the palms. And we're going to stamp that right on the top here. Cute so far, right? And now I did, ooh, I almost dumped that in my ink. I did a little rock and roll. So I'm going to take my moon or my sun. This time it's going to be a sun and I'm going to ink it up in the Daffodil Delight, and then I'm going to bring in my Calypso Coral, and I'm going to just roll it around. Now, if you get ink on the edges of your block, you may want to wipe it off, just so you don't get any edges when you go to stamp it. Because I've been yickety yakking here, I'm going to huff on it. <sighs> that moistens it a little bit, and I'm going to stamp it right here. And then I'm just going to mix it around a little bit with my aqua painter. And you may want to add just a little bit more orange to kind of blur those edges a little bit, right? What do you guys think? This is looking super cute so far. Oh, I'm going to need that again, so I'm going to leave that open. Okay. Then, here's my greeting. I Did anybody find out what was the name of that stamp set that I used? Colorful Seasons. I bet you that's it. Here's that Adriandac chair again, which I thought was just a perfect thing to add to a tropical-looking card like this. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here. I'm going to put this right over on the side. And then in comes my greeting. Kathy says she has two pads of this wood textures paper. Um, I think I do too. I think I have two or three or four. I don't know, but it is fabulous. I wanted just something a little bit more for this card. So and staying kind of in line with the whole tropical and rustic, I decided to use, oops, I'm going to glue this together first. I decided to use a little bit of linen thread. I'm going to put this on a Calypso coral layer. And did I tell you the dimensionals? The dimensionals. <laughs> I've got dimensionals on the brain. This designer series paper is three and three eighths by four and five eighths. And then the Calypso Coral is just an eighth of an inch bigger. Now I'm gonna bring in my linen thread because I thought that was perfect to go along with this whole sea tropical look. And I just wrapped it around there a whole bunch of times. And I'm gonna tie this in a knot. And I tied it in a knot because then I can give it to 
um, a man or a woman, right? I always feel funny about giving men things with bows tied on them. And maybe I won't tie a knot if this keeps up. There we go. I'm just going to get it turned under there. I always feel a little weird about giving bows to men because men are not really bow people, right? It's just a funny thing that I have. And I'm going to cut these off. Have you guys seen me curl this stuff? I like to curl the ends so that it kind of lays neat. And you get the little kinks out. But if you just pull this with your bone folder, most of our twine, including this um, linen thread, will curl like ribbon. So that's pretty neat, huh? Okay, where's the rest of my card? Right here. Here we go. We are going to mount this on the top. And you know what? I'm going to use dimensionals again because I can. And I love them. They are a stamper's best friend, don't you think? Here we go. How's everybody doing out there? You're not sleeping yet, are you? <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this. I really had a lot of fun with um, the stamp set. Like I cranked out a ton of stuff in a very little amount of time. I was really quite surprised. I did not have any creative blocks with this, I'll tell you. Okay, so there we go with the front. And now for the inside of our card, I am going to, whoops, I see I got ink on that with my dirty little fingers. Uh, friends make the good times better. And I'm going to again use soft suede for my greeting. And then I'm going to come in with one of these. Let me wipe this off a little bit because I think there's still some green on here. So this is what I made the grass with before. And I'm just going to make the land or sand. I'm just going to stamp that right down here. I'm going to wipe that off right away again. And then there's this cute little house. And I love it in the Calypso Coral because it reminds me of some of the places that I visited on Stampin' Up! trips. Because in the... Um, like in the Caribbean and tropical areas, their houses are usually very bright colors. Super, um, super fun colors. They almost look like playhouses, right? And then again with the, nope, I used Emerald Envy, didn't I? Yep. Twinkle Tide and Emerald Envy are very different colors, but I used both of them for the cards that I'm making. This one is Emerald Envy. I'm just going to wipe this off quick. Okay, so this is the inside of our card. What do you guys think? Isn't that super easy? These are quick and easy, very fast cards to make. That surprised me too, because I thought they were going to be rather putsy. And uh, building these seams is just real easy. You know, I'm so busy stamping that I'm not doing a lot to look at my comments, and I apologize for that. But So if you ask me something and I didn't answer you, ask me again. <laughs> okay, there's our cool retirement card. Easy, very easy. All right, what's next? Let me get some of this out of the way. I do have more. Here we go. Now I've just got a piece of Whisper White. Um, this card also, these are just Whisper White. This is not watercolor paper, okay? So now I've just got a piece of Whisper White here and we are going to bring in some gray for our mountains this time. Let me see if I can remember. I think I used the basic gray for these mountains. And again, I'm just gonna clean off some of these stamps that I've used in other colors. We don't wanna wreck any ink pads tonight, right? Right, Kelly. All right, we're gonna go with, this is the water. Does anybody see my mountain? Here's my mountain, sorry guys, lost my mountain. 
It's better than losing your mind, I suppose. Basic gray. Here it comes. And I'm going to just stamp this all the way across. By the way, this layer is three and three quarters by five. I'm going to stamp another mountain right here. And now without re-inking, I'm going to go right up there and stamp that one. Did you see how I did that? I'm going to stamp another one right up here and then come down and stamp one again. All right. This is just a little different having gray mountains. It's a whole different looking card. Then we're going to come in with our water, which is, who sees my water? Right here, right in front of me. And we're going to make this little lake right over here. And I'm going to leave that just like that. I'm not going to blend it at all. And then I'm coming in with Tranquil Tide and Old Olive. And we're going to do trees. So this, oh, let's do our um, clouds first. We've got our Marina Mist. And let me see how dark that is. It's not really super dark. So I'm just going to come right in here. If you want to turn these around, you can stamp them full strength and then not full strength. I'm going to stamp that off, stamp one right there. And then I'm going to do my sun right away in the Daffodil Delight. I'm just going to put that right up here at the top. Now I'm going to do my trees. So here we come with our green. So I've got Old Olive. Oh, and I made a mask here. So I'm going to put this mask right over. And remember how I did the trees just on the tips? We're going to do that again. Oops. There we go. We've got a few trees. And then I want to do some Tranquil Tide trees. Put our mask back in place. And I'll just move these trees over just a little bit. Oops, that didn't stamp very good. But I got a tree there. Let me try that again. Mm, I think I'm gonna ink that up. Whoops, wrong color. Did you see me do that? I told you guys, when I have classes and clubs, I'm like, you stamp in the wrong color, let me know. I do it all the time. People think I'm lying, but, well, they don't think I'm lying, lying, but they know. All right, hang on, I goofed this up, and I can fix it, I think. Yep. Nope. <laughs> oh yeah, well, that's kind of a mess. Let's try it again. There we go. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my aqua painter in and I'm gonna just fix that a little bit because that's gonna bug me. And here it is, you guys. You like to see that I'm human. You just saw just how human I am. There we go, that'll be perfect. All right. Then we're going to do tons and tons and tons of trees. So as long as I'm in the Tranquil Tide, I'm going to just start stamping trees. And I'm going to stamp them kind of all over the place here. And this is going to look kind of silly until I get it filled in. Okay, so stick with me. I think you're going to like this. Now I'm going to clean this off. And we're going to go with Old Olive. And the Old Olive you get a little crazy with. So you're going to just keep, 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 keep stamping with Old Olive. Stamp again. Ink once, stamp twice. Ink once, stamp twice. You can always come back in and fill in more with the Tranquil Tide if you need to. But do you see the forest that is taking place? This is just so easy and so cool. And each time I'm just stamping twice with one ink. Let's move that over just a little bit more. There we go. Whoops. Shelby is figuring out all of her um, hostess benefits from her party on Saturday. 
Shelby, is this going to be one of your stamp sets that you order? <laughs> I'm thinking it is. This is great, great, great for masculine cards. So I'm just going to do, bring a couple more of these in here. I think that's enough. I think I've got more than enough trees. Okay, there we go, you guys. What do you think? Let's see, Michelle says, um, she has to go. Sorry, chicken parmesan crescent braid done. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Now, I'll show you what I did with this card front. What do you guys think? Happy birthday, Thinlet here. I just glued that on and added some black baker's twine and stamped those trees on the inside. Marina Miss Space, and then this is mounted on a black layer. Do you like Yes. Okay, let's keep going. Yes, I have more. What time is it? Oh, I'm pulling up on an hour here. Okay. Let's see. I've just got a... You know what? We're moving up on an hour. I've got some more cards to show you. But I've already shown you how to make the little beach scene. So what do you think about this one? Is this not stinking adorable? I took the happy from the happy birthday and I cut the birthday off and I put the happy up here. I used the basket weave um, embossing folder on a layer of crumb cake and then this is berry burst. I used the sunshine, I think this is called sunshine wishes with those sunglasses. And doesn't this just match the whole sunglass thing? And then the basket weave, you know, baskets, Caribbean, they use baskets a lot, rugs are basket weaved. Um, this is the square stitched shapes. You can see those little stitches in there, I think. And then the square layering squares, framelits. And again, with that stylized birthday on the inside. Look at my hands. <laughs> I'm a mess. But I thought this was adorable. Okay, I have another. Let's see, did I show you? I showed you everything there. I have one more card to make for you, and then we're going to call it a night. So let me show you this beauty. Here we go. Okay. Um, this is Island Indigo, and the first thing I'm going to do with this is, hang on, let me get some of these ink pads closed up before, you know, you know what happens when Kelly has ink pads all over. And here we go. Yes, Linda, with the sunglasses, that would be a good card for teenagers. That is very true. It is really, really fun. All right, Marina Mist is gone, and we are bringing in Island Indigo. Did I have that? Yep, I've got that right over here. And I'm bringing in my white craft pad. And then my stamp set. Did I bring a little box? Yep, I did. Okay, here's my stamp set. And I got this one from... I think this is from Better Together also. Okay, so one of these, these are both the same size. So they're four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna take one of them and stamp up my inside. So I need my trees. Where did my ever, do you guys see my evergreen trees? I know they're here, here they are. I'm gonna get a different baby wipe because that one is disgusting. That's why I, look like a mess. I had somebody ask me what kind of baby wipes I use. I don't remember if I told you this last week, but I like the Huggies One and Done, they're called. So it says One and Done right here. They seem to not have as much lint as the other. Hang on, my cards just all fell off the table. Um, they seem to have, don't have as much lint as other baby wipes, and I really like them. They're thicker, they're just better quality. Okay, here we go. Island Indigo. And I am simply going to just stamp up this card. 
with the trees and the greeting. Oops, that's not the greeting that I want. Here's the other one. I'm going to make sure that I have this right side up. Let's see, this is just a scrap. Nope, I had it upside down. Yay me, winning! <laughs> and I got it straight. Bonus. Alright, let me wipe this off. This is the inside of our card. I've got Island Indigo here. This is five and a half by eight and a half, just a standard card size base. There we go. Card inside. This is certainly a different color. I love Island Indigo. We're hoping for a color refresh on the Stampin' Up! Colors with this next catalog. I don't have any insider information, so don't think that I know anything that anybody else doesn't know or knows or doesn't know or whatever. I don't. But I would really like to see a color refresh, and I hope that we never lose Island Indigo because it's one of my favorites. Okay, this is our silver edged ribbon, and we have this in silver and gold. And of course, I chose the silver to go with the blue because blue is a cool color. Not cool like, whoa, you're really cool, but cool as in warmer cool. So, just to clarify, I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to color this ribbon. And this is so neat because you can make this any color you want with whatever color markers you have, right? And this particular ribbon is just spectacular when you make it a dark color. And I'm just going to kind of even the color out here a little bit. Once this dries, all the little streaks and stuff kind of blend and go away and whatever. And I think that we can even take a tissue and now wipe the color off. You can see the stripes on the outside edge. That silver metallic thread is a resist and it resists the um, ink from the marker. So you don't need to worry about coloring on it. You can color right on it and then you can just wipe it off like I did. But have you guys, how many of you are doing this to your metallic edged ribbon? You can make it any color you want, which is just a fabulous tool. What did Sylvia say? I missed it. I put a marker dot on the back of the stamps to tell me it's right upside right. I put a marker dot on the back. I don't know what that means. What does that mean, Sylvia? Help me out because if there's a cool thing, I want to know it too. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to do the front of our card. And the front of our card is actually going to be stamped right on the Island Indigo layer. So I am going to take white craft ink and this piece that I have here, I just punched out a three quarter inch circle out of this piece. And I'm going to use it as a mask. And I have a dauber, yep, here's my dauber. I have a dauber right here that I use for white ink. And I'm going to just add big moon onto my layer. And by the way, this particular layer is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths, I think. And I kind of didn't fill it all in so that it's completely solid because moons have kind of that haze going in them, right? So we're going to leave that haze going. And then I'm going to come in with the um all these little polka dots you get why is this so filthy you get all these little polka dots there we go i don't know what was going on there um in the waterfront set and i'm going to whoops first before i do that i need trees trees did you guys see where i put here's my trees <laughs> a problem with those don't i i'm just going to put a line of trees i'm going to start first by my moon and I'm just going to put them up a little bit and then down a little bit and up a little bit and down a little bit. Maybe put one more right over here. Isn't that cool? 
Oh, here's what, here's the really cool part. This image that has two little, like, I don't know, layers. We used it for grass, I think, before. We're going to put that in the white. And we're going to kind of use that as a ground under the trees. Just like this. Isn't that cool? What do you guys think? I think it's pretty neat. Now we're going to go with these tiny little polka dots. These would be great to put on your sand if you were making a tropical card too. But here we go with the snow. And I just kind of filled this in. It's snowing all over. Stamped it right over the trees. I just kept going right down my card. It's really random the way these are in a pattern, so you don't have to like really move them around as you're stamping, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna put one more right there. And then I decided that I was gonna use this as a sympathy card. And this Better Together stamp set, uh, if this is a fabulous greeting set. You've got like everything in here. This is that Just a Note that I used earlier on one of the cards. And then I've got the sympathy here and the inside greeting there. So that's where this is coming from. And I'm going to stamp that in my Island Indigo and add it right up here to the top. Oh, I got that straight too. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. And then we're going to take this ribbon. Now this ribbon is dry. It takes just a little bit to dry. And I'm going to... I like to add my ribbon like this so that I don't have to tie a double knot on the front. That usually costs extra postage, right? And sorry for postal workers out there for what I'm about to say, but postal workers are not our friend with these cards that we send. I hear more stories about getting grief at the post office. I'm willing to pay that extra. Don't give me a hard time about it. Okay. And I do love my postal people. They're fabulous. At my Menasha post office, mm, Eric and what's the other guy's name? Joe. I love them. They are fabulous. And we always have a good time when I go in there yickety yakking and chatting. And they want me to hire them, but they don't really want to stamp. So we talk about that a lot. It's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm going to put this on my white layer because that's really going to make this pop. Right? Okay. There we go. Here goes our card onto the front. What do you guys think of this? It's just something really different, right? Hang tight. I'm going to bring back all the cards out so you can see them. And I'm going to see if I have any questions that I did not answer yet. If I did not answer you on a question, I will go back through them and I will um, leave an answer underneath your question on my Facebook page because, god darn, I'm a multitasker, but I'll tell you, sometimes it gets hard when I'm all busy stamping, right? Let me get all this stuff out of the way so you don't have to look at my big pile of stuff. There we go. Maybe. There we go. Oops, I got a little bit of glue right there. Oh, now it's blue. That's great, Kelly. <laughs> yep, I just did that. Okay, here we come. We've got this card. We've got this card. We've got this card. Let me get this out of here. Yes, I do have a mess to clean up when I'm done. <laughs> we have this card. We have this card. And don't forget this one. These are both the same. This one right here. And our little apple pie card, right? Now, I didn't do anything with this yet, but I think we've I think we've stamped enough tonight. I don't want to put you guys to sleep. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'll see if I can figure out something and put it on my blog. But as long as I've still got everybody here, I just want to remind you 
that the winners for tonight need to private message me with their address. We've got Claudia Swakowski. She won a prize for um, placing an order this week. We've got Sheila Edwards from New York. You won something for sharing my video. Eris Strine from Florida. You won something for the comment that you left. And Linda Darimple, because I had so many people share my video, you won for sharing the video. And Linda is from Nina, Wisconsin. Don't forget, you guys, to use the hostess code when you're placing your orders. Here's the current code. And you get an entry for commenting on the video, for sharing my video, and for ordering with the code. So you have three different ways to be entered, um, or you pick and choose. I always appreciate your orders. It's what will be able to keep me coming to you live. I love this. I'm really having a lot of fun with this. I don't know what I'm going to have in store for you next week because I'm really a fly by the seat of my pants type of person. I'll just kind of, you know, go, oh, I think I'll do this tomorrow. So um, I really don't know what I have in store next time. But make sure you get your name in the bin here. I will be starting all over as of this video with new um, entries into the into the drawings. What else do I need to tell you tonight? Um, I think that's it. I wanna thank you for making this another really fun night. Um, I'll look back through the questions and answer everybody. And make sure you share, share this. The more people that join us, the more fun we can have. Have a great night, everybody. Happy Sunday. Bye-bye.